All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Demon, Demon Slayer, Slayer season, season three, three, episode eleven, 11. All right. the season finale. Mm -hmm. A double feature, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we this one's called uh, Daybreak and First Light. Right, a connected oh. bond. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, obviously, we're gonna have the whole situation at the Swordsmith Village get wrapped up, you know. And uh, with how things went in the previous episode, I think we're we're like. Basically, right there. Well, you know? that's the problem, though, is that if this is going to be a a daybreak and first light thing, then it's the ah, okay, cool. We made it all the way till daytime. We could kill the demon mm -hmm. as long as you know we end up, you know, actually bringing it into the light. They'll be able to. They'll be able to cut through it just fine. Tanjiro's got that new sword coming. It's 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 gonna be Gucci. No, totally, totally. But the thing is that Nezuko's running around out here as well. She'll just. She'll just get back in the box. Just get back in the get box. Get that. Get back in the box. Yeah, yeah. The thing that I'm excited to see, though, is Demon Headquarters. What do they do when they find out, if they find out, mm -hmm. that uh, all of this happened, and now it's just the the upper three mm -hmm. with Muzan? Yeah. yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Yep, tear into pieces. Your responsibility to die! Ooh, operatic. Let's go. The organs and everything. Oh, hell yeah. I love these shots. Uh huh. The fact that he can smell it mm -hmm. so precisely. Whoa, okay. Damn, right, Goku. Oh, now he throws it. Yeah. After all that time of right, I was gonna away. say, I was like, <laughs> that was a weird editing choice. Uh huh. No. Uh -huh. He needed it. Like yeah, it's five like okay, new content, and then it goes back, and it's like, oh wait, no, this is we're we still haven't gotten to the new stuff yet. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, he's not just throwing one tree. Bruh, don't don't worry about slashing, just grab him. Yeah. Like he's not that strong. Oh, uh, yep. But she has time on her side, yep. If only Zenitsu were here. He wouldn't be able to see the demon though. Mm. Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh, yeah, that did happen. Oh, shit. Genya, carry me. Wait, wait. Oh, is he actually going to do it? Invoking his name, and now. If I send the oxygen to every single muscle fiber. No way. All right, I see you, Hunter Hunter. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shit! What? Stop moving! Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Tanjiro always had a thick skull. Finish it, Tanjiro! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Take its eyes out. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, ripped its. Fucking arm off! Throw your clothes off, man. That was its desperation, so now just continue it. Yeah! Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah. He's probably oh, less oh, sturdy shit. because he's in this bigger shit. form. Oh, shit. The sword is still stuck in him, yeah. Oh, but and then the, the sun's sun gonna be up, up in like 30 minutes. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, there's no there's no shade for a while around. It's what humans? <laughs> that was Tanjiro's voice. <sighs> Fuck, that's a that's a demon slayer right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now he's like, alright, forget feeding. Oh no. Yeah, the bone is right. too strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless are they maybe bringing the new sword? Shit. Shit. Ow, ow, ow. Bro, but. But. You don't have a lot of time. With the, with the wounded leg, is the back one to push off of? On the top of the clip, and he. Throws the sword to him. Oh, yeah, shit! Yeah, let's go! Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stopping me from sharpening it? You actually knocked him out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. The OP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, the music. I'm liking this choice for background track. Yeah. Shit. Nice. Ah! Like ah! butter. Fuck. Done. Oh, it's over. Oh, with the music Changing. and everything! Yeah. It's just, ah! Fire! Alright. Okay. Done. Let's wrap it up and go home. I know. How can Nezuko? As you were. <laughs> Nezuko. Nezuko. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nezuko's still unconscious. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Fuck. But she's, she's gonna clue in. No, 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 fuck, fuck. Oh no, is he coming from behind to get Tanjiro? Maybe. Does she see something he doesn't? What? Behind you. Oh uh. shit. Oh shit. How? No way. Yeah. So when it enlarged itself... But, but... Mm. Let's go, 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 go. We gotta get out of here. Damn it, damn it, damn it, Fuck. damn it, damn it. Yeah, make yourself smaller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wrap her up and wrap her up mm -hmm. in the clothes. Wrap her mm -hmm. up in the clothes. Fuck. And you can't do anything. No, the sun's gonna take care of him. Open up your clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll her burrito style. Put mm -hmm. her in your clothes, and 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 go go back to the forest. He doesn't seem to be catching fire though. No, I know, I'm scared, I... Okay, he's steaming, though. Oh, jeez, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, man! Oh my god, he's, he's, he's... Yeah, it's all happening in slow motion. Yeah, it, you're fucked, it's a no-win scenario. Maybe you, you throw the sword? Leave. You have to let them die, you have to... Oh, fuck. Oh, the... The anguish! Holy shit! If she dies anyway... What? Oh my god! What? No way. Oh... Oh no! Oh, she's like, no, I won't be a burden to you anymore. Go save those people, yeah. Yeah, no way. You can't... 
You can't bait me like this, that's... Demon Slayer. You can't bait me like this. There's no shot. There's no shot. Because, like, how it's on the one end. hand, the circumstances that led to this were so um, casual, mm -hmm. you know? Like, there's no way they would do it here, but that would be the perfect way to do it, though, right? It's just, there's just one slip up, right? I, I don't believe it. I don't believe I, it. Me neither. I'm, I'm, but... I'm either on copium or something, but there's no way. There's no shot. Okay, okay. Damn, they're really taking us through the whole whole yeah. thing here. But they there's might no actually way. be doing it then. I mean, that's what he's thinking, what he's feeling, his whole time with her. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. No. No. They're actually... No. That shift in the music. Mm -hmm. No way. I... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Inside it, maybe? In, like, its stomach or something? Yeah. No way! Alright. Oh my god! Alright! Cutting the head off while you can't see the main Arm body. one! Yep. Arm two! Fuck! It made itself so tiny. Shit! Still has little fragments of memories here. Oh。<笑> Oh, shit! Ah! Just like at the end of season two, yep. Yeah. Alright, there it is. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna jump scare us. And just, he's gonna look over where Nezuko is and she's just not gonna be there. Mm -hmm. But then it's the... No, she totally Did someone got get away. her, or is she gone? Who's coming up? Yeah, I don't know, they wouldn't show us if... Wait, what? She's not a demon anymore. Wait a minute. Okay, no, she still has the claws. How? 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 Also, fuck you, show, for making us think that. How is she okay? The, his journey is just... Just some little miracle, or because they see her too. This is yeah, yeah, some exactly kind of right. It's not Spectre, some. You're real. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, no, she still have the fangs though. Right, and the slit eyes and the claws and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she doesn't seem to. Fuck, okay. Oh, his voice acting. I feel Wait. so jabated, but also like, fuck Wait. you, Demon Slayer. Did, did somebody else, like, feed themselves to her or something? Maybe Genya? No. Yeah, he's just as confused too. 
<laughs> well, maybe Genya's the answer then. Sure, because he's not getting hurt in the sunlight, right. but the fire hurt him. Right. How, though? This has to be something that they're setting up for future stuff then, because there's... I mean, okay. He hasn't died necessarily yet. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. Just like that. Whoa. Just dissolves. Okay. Chills. Chills. Okay. <laughs> I guess we haven't seen her get in the sun before. Oh. Hmm. 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 <laughs> he might just kill these two ladies in vengeance. Yes. Oh. Oh. Sure, because if he didn't have to fear the sun, yeah. Yeah, doesn't even know what she's looking at. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Shit. So Why? he's going to reincorporate Nezuko so that he can then no longer fear the sun. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. 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 The arm is fell to the side too. Oh. God, the casual just uh -huh. doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't care. need to hide anymore. Yeah, it's just no. all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we going way back. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, because how did the first demon start? Uh huh. Turns out it did. その医者の薬が聞いていたというのが分かっ私の体は正気が見なぎ問題があった日の光の下を歩けないいやbe yeah. surprise muzan backstory though。わかるのである。日光に当たれば。Oh, there was like an instinct in his body as well. Yeah, I like it. I like it. この血肉を欲するようになった人を喰らえばいい。There's something about black, red and white that just mm -hmm. Oh, it's just yep. so good. <laughs> Art. Okay. Art. And that's why he was messing with the shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a flower. It eventually dies out, mm -hmm. you know. God. Yeah, through the ages. Wouldn't be surprised if he absorbed the other top three. Well, the scary thing is that, if anything, if he says why he's doing this with the top three, they could become threats because they could want to also eat Nezuko as well. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's a good like, point. Shit, okay. Well, it's just... Yeah. It was just... Fate, I guess, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, give me back that fucking sword. Yeah. 
and kill. Ha <laughs> where is the sword? Good point. No, no, it looks great. <laughs> He's so yeah. used to it. Right, right. He's, He's traumatized. Like, if you broke that fucking sword, so help me, yeah, it's I'll right kill here. you. <laughs> <laughs> This goes out of the time of her life! Oh my gosh! What a happy end! Yep. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, we, we are. Uh -huh. Somehow. Everybody. I am. Uh, I, I have so many feelings right now. I, uh, yeah, I know, I right, know! Right, yeah, they're starting to clue in. They're like, wait, she spoke, but also, wait, yeah. What the hell? You know, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we're actually going back to her. Okay. Okay. Well. So she's the answer on both directions. Mm -hmm. Or on both ends. And so Nezuko's gonna... Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <笑>ファイン。いや。感じろうさんたちが来てくれなかったら壊滅していたと思いますよ。本当はさそばで来てくれた感じろう挨拶しに来たんじゃろ。うん。いつも俺の刀を手入れしてくれて、ちゃんと
Like, she gets burned in the sun, but the other guy's just sort of smoking, right? So you still need to kill him, but like, but she's gonna die. You know, right. that would have been like, yeah, when you have a when you have a soft magic system like mm -hmm. Demon Slayers, you can't uh, you can't really go like like hard all of a sudden mm -hmm. for certain rules and then soft on other ones all of yeah. a sudden. So the fact that they're like, no, 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 she's the exception. It's like, cool, yeah, whatever. All right, yep. Because we've had we've had some pretty crazy exceptions so far with like the beheading rule to the point where that one's gotten stretched out like. You know. Yeah, but the idea that demons are unique is also just a very common thing thus far. So mm -hmm. Nezuko's fire blood kind of being something like it's conquered the sun. Uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, potential end credit scene. Maybe. Or maybe just visuals. Could be just visuals. We'll see. Okay. Aw, nice. And we actually got to hear her speak. You got to hear and, her speak. And yeah. they confirmed that it's not that she wouldn't speak or the, mm. you know it's that because She's of the demon learning. stuff even if she right she couldn't even if she kept herself from feeding on humans so much of her had been affected by that change that now mm. she's kind of rediscovering herself okay all right that's all right. a finale we yep. have a very 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 intense presentation set up for mm -hmm. uh a, a conflict at the end um, yep. It then becomes an emotional decision of Tanjiro with the incredible voice acting. Oh, yeah. And feeling was... the anguish of deciding uh, who how... he's going to save here. How do you possibly choose? Yeah, right? you, can't, you can't choose. You, you really can't. It's something where you end up thinking about the, well, it's the many, and also the fact that this demon's then going to go on and killing more people mm -hmm. versus the one, even though it is your, your beloved sister. It's, yep. it's, it's impossible. And but then the fact that she kind of kicked him off there and mm -hmm. kind of intentionally let herself potentially die. Yeah, that... Because there's no way she knew 100%. Nope, nope. Like, there's... Now, granted, uh, because Muzan had the knowledge without actually letting himself touch the sunlight that he would die if he touched the sunlight, there is the chance that she had some subconscious thing or whatever, but I don't think so. Um, yeah, so... And that's mm -hmm. and that sacrifice, I think, is, is awesome. And the mm -hmm. struggle that Tanjiro had... Um, regarding the whole situation, love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, yeah. That's because yeah. because their their plight is the emotional core of this journey. So right. to have that be something that is that is present in the finale of this season makes absolute sense. To have mm -hmm. it be something that is set up for the you know the pivotal conflict for the show as a whole. Mm -hmm. Of course, that makes sense, right? Like it's it's it's, yeah. also, it's almost I would say it's also almost mandatory. Demon Slayer. Sure as a story kind of needed that mm -hmm. this arc did not hit as well as season two's arc no like not nearly as well this no. was this was some uh some stuff that was mostly focused on the themes of uh, uh kind of inheritance and things being passed along but the end then being something that nezuko inherited i guess from Muzan's actions, I guess. This is very much a, oh, we didn't know what to do with Nezuko, mm -hmm. so we're going to give her a power. It's, well... And it is kind of something that's been being done before in that Nezuko has the, kind of the X factor of being a... Yeah. Well, I mean... It's all similar, demons, similar to all how... demons are direct descendants of Muzan in that respect, so it's not that oh, she's gotcha. actually special in any way. Compared to, like, demons. Okay, gotcha. I Literally you were every about... single demon came from Muzan. Yes, yes, so it's exactly. The... Yes, yeah, some demons have abilities and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. the idea that one would eventually be able to conquer the sun, sure. And then it's the, well, that she has some kind of, her blood can turn to flames, which then might correlate to that in some well, way but it's just and if there yeah. were to be an explanation for it even though um th this is very much a you know uh not hard magic system kind of explanation right but uh yeah. but i i do like it even though you know there was no build up there there, there, there was no build up to it toward it or anything but 
given what we get with the Muzan backstory afterwards, mm -hmm. um, the idea that he's been searching for all this time and hasn't been able to figure it out, if you get into a situation where a demon sacrifices their own life to save humans, mm -hmm. that that feels kind of like a like a similar thing to the um, the Shinigami and Death Note, where it's sure. the, you know how do you kill a Shinigami? Well have them do something that so violates their their, their code of conduct right what they you know, are yeah yeah exactly that that then it's it's uh that the the physical nature must eventually bend to the uh decisions that are contrary to that nature right, right? yeah um and so the idea that yeah. that might have been the thing that saved her i do like that there, I don't think there's anything necessarily. But we're reaching that's... literally for straws here. Yeah, yeah, yeah none exactly. None of that is. None of that is. None of that is literally being zeroed in on by the story. Right. Everything with regards to the emotions of the characters in this moment, I love. Mm -hmm. Everything about the mechanics of this happening, I don't like. Yeah. Like the if if it if she had died, it would have felt contrived and out of nowhere. Yep. It would have felt also like a we don't know how to write her, so we'll make her die tragically because we don't really know what to do with her outside of this having was, her do some. This cool was that rights. either way in a lot of ways. Yeah, because and, and has been, progressed Tanjiro as a as a character as our shonen protagonist. I mean, you know? I mean, not, not not really that. Just just the idea that he um, uh, as a character Tanjiro has been doing this to help Nezuko. Um, uh, get her body back by collecting blood mm -hmm. from upper ranks or stronger demons and stuff so that um, yep. uh, Yoshiro the, and uh, shoot we have so many so names many names, names in here names in here um, uh, Tamayo. Uh, Tamayo Tamayo yeah um, can study that and stuff like that but the show is not focused on that at all right this is really. the first time that they brought it back up in a long time and even even the points when uh, demons have been getting killed and stuff, Tanjiro is not harvesting blood. Yeah, I'm, right. Like, like, that's literally not even a. I'm a still not point. entirely. He's sure. not even bringing it up internally. It's the kind of thing mm -hmm. where I was uh, talking with some people about the Demon Slayer, and I was like, I, I really want Nezuko to be a bigger part of the story, mm -hmm. and the reason why is because there's so much about this story that kind of reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, We're gonna get you your body back. Yeah, I'm gonna mm -hmm. get you your body back. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And while there's going to be a a a journey with regards to that, a, a long journey, mm -hmm. and it's not always gonna have progress at every single bit, it's a strong emotional core of the story, and yet. It's, Demon Slayer as a story does not focus on that. Right. It, it, it just does it not. It almost kind of forgot about it. Yeah. Right. And then Nezuko is the is the cute mascot that makes, you know, like fun sounds basically, but doesn't like ever talk or whatever. Right. Yeah. You know, and yeah. So, so it feels like we're addressing both problems of the story in that regard by, oh, she Let's, doesn't have to deal with her body being a problem anymore. Nope. And she will Literally actually not be all. speaking. And she will be speaking. And it's like, but why? Right. There was no, there was no mm -hmm. decision yeah. other than the thematic ones that mm -hmm. make it kind of like a, oh, and, maybe there's something there in that. But that nothing in the world building has established that your, your, mm -hmm. um, your character's decisions and the emotions of that. Yep. This isn't Gurren Lagan where you well, have spiral power that yes, breaks reality. But you also, know? Um, because the problem was set up as a mechanical one mm -hmm. not an emotional one thank you yes. having it be resolved because of an emotional way you can still do but it, can. It's, it but it can be less satisfying but also if you don't know that it's an emotional resolution like other than the fact that oh yay nezuko's not dead right but then that yeah. feels like backpedaling yeah it does. if you don't yeah. have it set up that it's because of the action right uh-huh then then it just feels arbitrary, right? Like, like mm -hmm. it feels like the show is like, we're gonna scare you for no reason. For no reason. And and you don't even really buy it nope. because why would they kill Nezuko here? It doesn't mm -hmm. make sense unless they were going for like the, this is gonna take a cold, dark turn. Mm -hmm. But the problem is with that is that this entire arc up until now, we even talked about it in previous episodes. Yep. It's been so happy-go-lucky by comparison to season two, right? Like season to the, two was, I, I felt the stakes way. Yeah. Better. Whereas, yeah. whereas in this, you know, the villains were awful. No, it's it's just we need to deal with a gimmicky villain, right? Two. So 
two two gimmicky villains. And one of them is so forgettable that you wouldn't even mention them, really. No, no, right. But like, but like, even in this situation, the okay, how many times have we cut the guy's head off and we think we've got him and he runs away and then we catch him and he runs away and we catch him, right? Like, it's 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 not something that feels you know, desperate or anything like that, no, right? We so we don't feel like we're in danger. If anything, exactly. they could have focused on the way in which Demon Slayers are kind of terrifying. Sure, and, and right I think they did it. that in the first. They, they bit did of a the little episode, bit, and they I did like a little that. bit, yeah, yeah. But but, but but they didn't. They didn't have that be like like there was that's the, not a theme of the the arc. That's yeah, just, yeah, exactly. Right, like that's that's the the most terrifying bit was when he transformed after mm-hmm. being small, right. and then is like crushing Tanjiro's head. Yeah. That was a lot of fun because it's the oh cool you, he's desperate yeah he's, yeah right layers upon layers of desperate and yep. now now he's lulled you into a false sense of security because you think he's yeah. defenseless and then boom he's got gotcha, you right right and this is where you see this is where you see the duplicitousness of this demon being put fully on display right. where it's the no he could always do shit like this right but he's trying to use everything in his arsenal to get you except, to hesitate to get you to whatever yeah except doing things himself I, I I liked the idea of them hinting a little bit at the idea that because he separated himself in all these ways um, he already had these kinds of issues mentally before he mm-hmm. was a demon and thus this is it's his own me. way of taking yeah. and putting responsibility for the things that he does on these other uh, mm-hmm. aspects of himself which is which is cool yeah. which is a cool it's a cool um it's a cool concept in a in a fantasy power and stuff like that. But then again, and and I, I think I, that I didn't really I didn't really buy this demon compared to the the siblings of season two. Oh yeah, no. Like it, think about the siblings of season two. That's a that's an S tier demon slayer mm-hmm. villain as far as like emotions go. Yep. The the thing that I was the most happy about with this demon was not the demon themselves, but mm-hmm. it's the fact that it addressed the issue of hey. With all of the times that Tanjiro has been yes. able to find sympathy with the demons, can he be an actual demon slayer? Right. Can he be the the so in this case, there was terminate no with extreme prejudice? Right. Yeah. When the person, when the demon is specifically trying to address his sympathies, and yeah. we can see that Tanjiro is like, no, no, fuck, fuck you. off with your bullshit. You're a monster, and I'm going to end you. Right? right. Like, like, and that's that makes me feel. That that feels like a very good step to have taken for Tanjiro before we go into the true final stage of things, because now we have the temperance and we know where the limits are of mm-hmm. Tanjiro's good boy nature. It's yeah. not just good boy nature without sense or yeah. or you know or thought or reason or yeah. limits. You know, like like yeah. we we know who Tanjiro is, and yeah. and so I I really like what that did for it. But mm-hmm. yeah, as far as the actual like conflict with this demon. No, no, we don't. We don't really care. Like even the whole thing of like Mitsuru being like, "I'm about to die." Like, okay, logically, mentally, in my head, sure, yeah. If you have a human that's fighting an upper rank, but they can't kill them because the main body's somewhere else, yeah, eventually that would, that could be something where they'd be in danger of you know getting tired or whatever. But because we we aren't. We aren't really showing we aren't it. Focusing on that. Yeah, it's like no, no, no. Spend She's so much like, time on the just we're running, right. chasing, running, like, running. I was chasing. expecting it to be something where they're like, they're gonna cut back and oh, forth a bunch. Yeah. Well, no, no, not even that. But oh. then when when Tanjiro is like, after all, she's gonna get tired eventually, and then like cut to her and she's just like, you know, it's the built different card again, and it's just like, nope, let's go, <laughs> right? Sure, like, sure. So yeah, I don't know. It's I'm yeah. really glad though that Nezuko wasn't killed because that would have that that wouldn't have felt good. It, no, it would not have felt good um, at, at all. Uh, and not I, like the fun way, but like in the... No, 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 obviously in the story kind of way. But but the, yeah, the, the rough thing was just that the way we built up to this moment, I bought more the decision of Tanjiro than I did the threat to Nezuko. Mm. Um, yes. But I, I bought it because it felt like it was going to be a hard decision on Tanjiro's part to let a demon get away, and thus then they would have the location of the swordsmith village sure revealed. Yeah. then it's the oh shit you know this is just just a, a bad situation where tanjiro is going to lose a little bit of that innocence or not the innocence but that good boy nature of the no that demon needed to fucking die mm-hmm. and you know we're yeah. gonna have to go and hunt it and that might be the next you know stage of things or it's the no now muzan knows we need to evacuate this village and send you know ravens right. and stuff to get or crows or what have you to get everybody out mm-hmm. of here because yep. muzan will find out about it yeah 
which I, I loved then it's the Nezuko makes the decision to, you know, kick him off, which is a very powerful decision on oh, Nezuko's yeah. part. I would have loved to see more of her thought process with regards to that. Well, she doesn't but... have that because she's not the main character, remember? Well, so. I mean, uh, more, more to the show's credit, we haven't heard her speak yet, and so her, hearing her internal thoughts would kind of ruin some of the impact of the first time that we do get to hear her speak. Yeah. But even if it was something where we got to see aspects of more where it's like yes we mm. got flashbacks and stuff but right. we, if we were able to get it framed to where it's the this is her thought process right so that that way we can we can get some kind of you know through through the body language or the whatever well, she did give body language she did she she did she absolutely did she she kicked him off right yeah here, and, and she, she did, did the, the little the, fist thing right like gambate basically like go, no, go uh, get it. yes yes we got we got this stuff after I'm more talking like in the build up to where she's making the decision. Right. Well, that's literally the thing that I'm talking about right here is the the whole thing here. She can see that it's it's bothering him that he can't go. Sure. And then she kind of resolves to do this. She kicks him off. That's yeah, I guess in yeah. the moment, that's the making of the decision is that Right. Yeah, I guess I guess I was distracted by the fact that I'm like, oh God, she's 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 burning alive. <laughs> right? right, right. Like No, I, I liked this. It's just that from a meta perspective, there was no reason for her to die here, so it felt right. cheap that there's. I I have no desire or reason to believe this other than the wonderful emotions that are being displayed by the characters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But um, oh, this season was um. There, were a lot of, there was a lot of stuff that I loved from this season. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to like about this season, but this season was overall just a... Um, it was, a it wasn't season from two. From season two. Yeah. I, I think season two is is peak Demon Slayer. Mm -hmm. um, there's some definite good to like better than some season two parts in season one for sure. Yes. Um, but I, 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 if anything, I'm glad with the direction that they're going to be taking things for season four because... Muzan being more directly involved is great. Muzan's motivations being now so simple as just, I need to get Nezuko. Mm -hmm. um, I love the idea of Hashira defending the, you know, the lo location of Nezuko and preparing a trap for sure. upper ranks or Muzan or something, or even potentially this is the other thing. Um, Muzan needing to be careful about letting this info slip. So... Mm -hmm. he ends up acting suspicious in some ways with oh, yeah. the upper ranks, and then the upper ranks start to clue sure. into what's going on, and it creates some rivalries and stuff and, for Nezuko. And given the fact that not only did we get the uh, progress bit of the, okay, now Nezuko is the is the magical girl that Muzan needs and all of that stuff, mm -hmm. we also got the bit of, oh, hey, she was able to help treat somebody to the point where they're like, yep. they're, they're, a, they're a demon in the same way that, like, you know, Shinobu is a vampire, right? Like, right, or, or, or is a vampire, Genya you know. is a demon in that regard. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly, kinda. right? Like, so so that's, an, that's a way in which the uh, protagonists will also, even if they don't know that Muzan is trying to do this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. they will have a very vested interest beyond just Tanjiro wanting to care for his sister yes. in the, we need to keep this, this girl safe. We need to, right. you know. Hashira will know that. Right, yeah. right, exactly. Yeah. She is our future as as the human race right like like the, if like if she if she dies we're kind of like we're, we're well, back no, to square we just one. we just we just go and kill all the demons that's, right that's the whole point of the demon slayers mm -hmm. is that yeah we'll just keep going as we have been we'll just keep going as we have been but mm -hmm. yeah they were doing just fine anyway the the fact that muzan has kind of stopped making demons in that regard is kind of a testament to show that the hashira are slowly but surely winning because Muzan is not directly acting upon them. Like he's not mm -hmm. he's not doing the thing where he goes out there and yep. slaughters five of them at a time to exactly to, keep to, the to humans send down, a message. Yeah. To send a message, right. Uh -huh. But we might be headed to that point where it's the instead of having a couple upper ranks die, we then have a couple Hashira die because there's still quite there's a quite few a few of them on the list right here that uh Mm -hmm. You know, we could we could we could cut this list down quite a bit. Rengoku is always going to be the goaded Hashira who you know sacrificed himself for mm -hmm. for our uh, for our protagonists. But uh, we've got a couple others here. We uh, do like Obanai uh, Igoro, the the, mm -hmm. the snake one. Gyomei yep. Himejima, the uh, stone guy. Oh yeah. 
uh, fucking Sadami. Mm-hmm. So we got a lot of uh, focus on him here. If anything, that's probably the my favorite thing about this episode, not this episode, this season, uh, was how they handled the Hashira being two of them mm. and in combining sure. that with uh, Tanjiro's stuff with being a demon slayer and then the whole lineage stuff. I think Tokido yeah, was, that was handled. Fun. Tokido was handled pretty well. Uh, mm-hmm. Mitsuri, of course, got got like, shafted a, on a fifth on screen, of the time. screen time. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, so that sucks. Right. But... She probably could have been just as awesome if she got the same amount of screen time. But yeah, um, yeah I, I do really like though, as like, and I feel like this is the usual thing whenever we have a Demon Slayer finale, mm-hmm. is that the best stuff is the stuff with Muzan and the demons, yeah. and the idea that Muzan had disdain for the other demons, and he's like, I, why would I want to give my power to anyone else? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, yeah, of course he wouldn't. Of course yeah. he wouldn't, right? So now that he doesn't have to, it's like the, okay, cool. And so now we'll get to see a new vibe from him, so he might actually do something that's a bit more aggressive <laughs> right, and reckless, right. right? Because it's the, all right, I'm, I've almost won, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. almost there ready to take my spot atop the world and everything. And yeah, yeah. and that's a, that's a very exciting place to have your villain feel still terrifying, despite mm-hmm. the kind of the mechanics of the plot surrounding the protagonist being a bit wishy-washy and thus we don't really feel the stakes as much in this uh, mm-hmm. season but then future seasons and, we're going to because well, things are going to be that simple like we're going to but at the same time Kanjiro got two crazy power Tanjiro, upgrades yeah Kampachiro uh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah 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 um he's got a new sword that's like even the the way that it was able to cut it's going to get even stronger and all that stuff because it's going to be you know more is and more he refined. Keeping it though, that's actually a good point because they, they did they say actually... we're going to we're going to repair your sword. That did... yeah, so maybe maybe that sword isn't going to him. Um, he just he was he just was lucky enough to use. He was it for on loan. It was on loan. You know. Yeah, exactly. But but he also uh, pulled out the Zenitsu um, like thunder breathing shit, which is like okay at that point, like. Zenitsu was always kind of low-key the most powerful of the three, you know? But, like, because because he was a gag character and because of the limitations of sleeping and all right. that stuff, mm-hmm. it was never problematic. Yeah. But now it's like, oh, oh, Tanjiro's as strong as he has gotten, and he can do that. That. Right. Oh, boy. What's the difference between a demon slayer and a demon again? Like... <laughs> Our boys just our boys just built different. You know, yep. just, mm-hmm. just breathe hard. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. All right, I, I'd be really excited for season four if they escalate things with the villains, and um, even though we're not going to get probably a hard explanation with regards to Nezuko, mm-hmm. it's just you no know, demons are different, and Muzan's blood yep. is um, is evolving in that regard. And if all these powers and stuff came from Muzan, yes, eventually it would you know. Mm-hmm. Just run the lottery and eventually get the one that he uh, he needs and wants here. Right. And hey, it's the perfect bait to bring him out into the light so mm-hmm. that we can kill him finally, and then you get all the fate stuff and all the yep, you know, converging of bloodlines and dreams yeah. and hopes and all that. And if the knowledge that Nezuko's blood could make them be able to conquer the sun causes dissension within the ranks of the final three upper ranks and Muzan and all that stuff. Holy shit, that would be so fun. Yes, because, again, they teased us with some upper ranks mm-hmm. that are way cooler and oh, yes. way crazier than we, any of the other ones that we've We were calling the hard this season with, you know, like, okay, you're not that Getting the basic bitches get out, out of here. Get out of here, yeah. And then, you know, number one and number two... Uh, Mm-hmm. Oh, they're where it's at. They're where it's at. Akaza, you kind of a uh, you kind of a basic weak bitch sauce now. now. Yeah, you you kind of mm-hmm. kind of unfortunately just look like a, another uh, DBZ character. Yeah, yeah. you are so not even last season. Like <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the full length timer version of this reaction right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. Uh, we have uh, a little bit of a special thing that's mm-hmm. going to be coming up after this. Um, but we will be doing things a little we'll bit differently. We'll be doing things a little bit differently. So you'll see what that's coming up uh, within there. Um, so we'll keep that as a surprise for now. But uh, y'all, if uh, that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.